Welcome back to our series on NERC standards. This video will focus on the BAL, Resource and Demand Balancing Standards. Let's dive into the key standards in this category. BAL1, Real Power Balancing Control Performance. This standard ensures that balancing authorities maintain control over real power balancing to meet performance criteria. It emphasizes accurate control of power resources to maintain grid frequency and reliability. BAL1TRE, Primary Frequency Response in the ERCOT region. Specifically designed for the ERCOT region, this standard ensures sufficient primary frequency response during grid events, contributing to overall grid stability and resilience. BAL2, Disturbance Control Standard, Contingency Reserve for Recovery from a Balancing Contingency Event. This standard mandates maintaining adequate contingency reserves to recover from major disturbances and meet recovery timelines, supporting reliable operations. BAL2, WEC, Contingency Reserve. Focused on the Western interconnection, this standard specifies requirements for contingency reserves to address system disturbances, ensuring alignment with regional reliability needs. BAL3, Frequency Response and Frequency Bias Settings. This standard defines frequency response and bias settings requirements to maintain system frequency stability during imbalances and disturbances. BAL4, WEC, Automatic Time Error Correction. Designed for Western interconnection, this standard ensures automatic correction of time errors, improving the accuracy and reliability of system operations. BAL5, Balancing Authority Control. This standard outlines requirements for maintaining effective balancing authority control, ensuring the grid's reliability through coordinated operations and communication. BAL502RF, Planning Resource Adequacy Analysis, Assessment and Documentation. This standard focuses on planning and documenting resource adequacy to ensure sufficient resources are available to meet forecasted demand and maintain grid reliability. 